On Nemesis' stream this week, somebody donated and asked who's the best one trick that he's versed on the Korean server yet. I'm gonna play a quick clip for you. There's a lot of them. I feel like, I don't know. There's so many, man. Like, for example, the Yasuo one trick is absolutely insane. Now, this Yasuo one trick he's talking about is P. Zhang. Everybody is terrified of facing him in lane, guys. Only one other um, one trick in the world I can really match up on mechanics of their champions, and that is Beifang, the 1800 LP Kiana. If there was an equivalent for a Yasuo player, this is him. Today, we're going to break down some of his games, look at his incredible mechanics, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Hopefully, we'll pick up a thing or two that we can learn and implement in our own gameplay. Enjoy. Coming on to the Rift now, the matchup we're up against is a Galio in the mid lane. It's always awkward when you verse a Galio as Yasuo. He has that W, so as soon as you get on top of him, bro, he's gonna bloody CC you up. So he's running cleanse, okay, to counteract that. He'll be able to frontline these team fights and play super aggressive. Also, guys, I'd recommend watching to the end of this VOD. I've gone through and looked at a couple of the kills, and there is some absolute crazy plays in the later stages of this game. Um, so make sure... If you're looking to see those plays, to watch towards the end as we get level 2 spike. And it's all about using the wave with these E's. I hate versing these Korean Yasuos. I versed a bunch of Korean Yasuos when I was over there. I don't know if I versed this guy. I may have. All I know is every Korean Yasuo gives me... I still have... I wake up in cold sweats at night at how disgusting they are. Because they have one mode, and that is I'm better than you, and I'm going to make sure that, I, that you know it in my lane. As he's just going in. Galio blows the W, he's going to wait the spacing out and look to re-engage. You can see Viego coming through for the level 3 mid lane gank and he's going to run away. Does that stop the sun? That, that stopped the stun of the Viego? I had no idea. Um, as the wave will come back into us and now this is where Galio really needs to start playing passive. Otherwise he's going to get solo killed, I guarantee, in an extended late. Interesting, he's, um, the Yasuo's got fleet footwork, okay. Interesting. I think usually you'd run, oh, you'd run Conqueror. Um, maybe just wants a little bit of extra sustain into this matchup. Some of these Qs, are, look at it, it's <laughs> so gross. Some of these Qs are going a little bit wide, but he can't be touched. He'll out sustain the Galio easily. Level four. Has the aftershock, gonna have to space it out. Look at the fiddle over the wall. Only level four. We'll hard shove the wave. Usually it's a um Zerka Greaves rush for these Yasuo players. These Qs. Not quite. He's predicting the Dukes, but Galleus is kind of staying still. As we have a 5 CS lead at 3. Galio has the teleport though, so it's not gonna be that bad for him. Stop the recall. Ooh, didn't get it. Let's see if Galio TP is on the cannon. Oh. It's always awkward when that happens. It's like, where is the Galio? Did he TP down bot? No. He's just walking back to lane. He's going to hold it. As Viego gets a double kill. So I guess we just stay. You see how it's so... Look at that base damage. Look how difficult it is to verse these, these Galio. He has to flash. Like, Galio base damage is ridiculous. Galio has one of the highest win rates in the mid lane at the moment. If you disrespect him just like he did then, um, you will get punished and have to blow flash. As we head back... <laughs> I swear he's baited me on like five bases. He's looking for a full out purchase. Galio TP's up, so we'll hard shove. And I know in the intro, I did say only other one other one trick and think it was Bay Fang, but of course, guys... I can't do my boy Zed 99 like that. Don't forget about Zed. There's plenty of good one tricks. Who else you got? Mango Fish for Fizz. You got so many. As we'll finally head back. Pick ourselves up the Zerkers. Get a control ward. And one thing that he interestingly does, especially into comps that heal a lot, is he just rushes more reminder. The build path is usually like Mortal Reminder, Shield Bow, and a Situational. Um, that's pretty standard, I guess. Even into non... It's weird how... Dude, Koreans and Chinese players just have this fetish for like anti-heal. I guess there's so much anti-heal in the game, but like... I've seen a lot of Aurelians just rushing um, Morello now. 
They just rush Morello. It's just a straight up Morello rush. And I've seen a couple of other champions starting to do this type of thing. I guess they just believe the value of it is too, um, too efficient. I think Yasuo, honestly, has had a pretty good couple of patches because of all these Lee Sin tops. That knock-up is invaluable as we get the River Ward. Now, Galio is level 6. We can't we can't counter this. The only way we counter this is hard shoving and looking for plates. Finally, we get the shutdown under the Viego. I should check in on my boy, um, Love Galio. He's that Galio one trick I did a review on a while back. He's usually over a thousand LP. The only Galio main that able to do it. Because we're just farming up a storm. No solo kills in the early game, unfortunately. He usually is able to get level 3, level 4 solos, but into this matchup, it just doesn't really seem worth it. He's happy with the CS lead. Such a satisfying champion. I still think that Yone is a little bit better than Yasuo in general. I think that Yone is just an easier Yasuo with just as much reward. As here we are, we're going to try and zone him. Problem is, we need Q2 to stop him, and we can't get it. So we chunk him down, and we're going to try and follow up in the bot lane. It's a hard commit. Let's see if he's able to get in. And his team just gets absolutely rinsed. This is so unfortunate. Look at the Galio taunting him. <laughs> and we'll pick up the wave. Cool. He had flash. I reckon a Q flash would have done him. Yeah, he has flash to react, but I'm tracking back into the mid lane. But yeah, expect a Bay Fang review this week. Everyone's really interested to see what the hell we're going to start building on Kiana now. Because Prowler's Claw got a big nerf this patch. Less lethality. Active can only be used on champions. I think the cooldown's even up or something. It's crazy, the item. Gonna be Duskblade or Eclipse, I reckon. I don't reckon we I don't reckon we keep going Prowlers. The whole like almost more like 50% of the use of Prowlers felt like it was for minions to get gap closed for your setup, right? Heading back to base, pick up our zeal. Galio. 46 to 89 CS. You'll rarely see him less than 9 or 10 CS per minute. To be fair, it's pretty easy to farm with Yasuo. Not as easy as back in the day when you used to go Shiv. Remember Shiv Rush Yasuo? You just one tap the entire wave with magic damage. I'm gonna grab a plate. There's been so many iterations of Yasuo. There was a Triforce Yasuo I was playing in for a little bit. I was bloody season 5 or 6 or something. And it's just Operation Farm and React and wait for the first team fight. You can see his team is 3.5k gold behind. Don't get disheartened when you're doing this, guys. Make sure to get experience, get farm, and wait. Your moment will come. And if it doesn't come, then you lose. But you'd rather it... There's a chance for your moment to come. Rather than just going for a suicide play and then there's just... You're never going to come. Sorry, buddy. You'll have blue balls. As he's just trying to weave, like... The Galio is so tanky. You need to slowly chunk him and look for the all-in. Remember, the ultimate on Yasuo gives you some extra penetration. Should be able to roast him if he gets it. As the sweeper for the top lane roam, here we go, finally. Lee Sin, Lee Sin, oh, Lee Sin has no kick. Set with the solo. And we're going to pick ourselves up a kill here, surely.
Two misses. Come on. Come on. We get it. And the fiddle gets a couple in the bot lane. Scalia's doing a good job. He's he's only 60 farm, but he's bloody six kill contribution. As we get a top lane plate. And like you all you just look at this score line and you just like he's 120 farm at 11, he's got a kill. Getting plates, you just know that this is a ticking time bomb. When you can pilot a champion like this guy does, um, yeah, that is a terrifying plane. Head back in. Should get the shield bow here. You reckon? I think he can. He should have enough. Sorry, am I saying shield bow? Why am I saying shield bow? Sorry. He has enough for the Noon Quiver. He's going for the Shield Bow. The Zeal item should be for... Ah, I understand. I understand. I understand. He gets the crit from the Zeal. Then he goes into the Shield Bow. But he makes sure he gets the early crit. Okay. I'm with you. I don't play Yasuo. I don't know the build paths. I've seen him build, but I've just seen whole items. I haven't seen the, like, um... Components. Makes sense, but... As their bot lane goes into the mid lane. There's no way we just look for a, We're looking for a 1v2. We're going for it. Cleansed by the Jinx. Oh, that auto flash. And we are just going to juke out of that team fight later. It gets the double knock up. No way Thresh lives. Does Thresh live here? Oh my god. He saw the opportunity and he just went for it. That Jinx was 3-0. And he has a two level advantage over the Galio now. He's a little bit nervous here, it looks. I don't think you can 1v1, just wait. That Galio base damage, right? As cleanse, not gonna use it. And now it's all, it's all about the side lane, and Galio can't... No one can side lane against him, right? He's going to be able to 1v2, 1v3, especially on the next base. Completing that shield boat in the base, working towards the Mauler Reminder now. And we'll head back to the bot side. Hopefully we pick up red buff. If Aphilios is all cool with it, I would like that red buff, please, good sir. Oh yeah, it's so satisfying getting these early reds. Man, he's doing a, he's going for a farm record here. It's him versus Chovy. You can E over that, but if you get aggro, you, yeah. It's a little bit too long. And P Zhang is a very patient player. It, dude, I it, it's so crazy how I talk about how all these one tricks. The ones that climb the highest are the patient. He is so consistent with his farm. He is just slowly waiting for his opportunity, and he plays the fights controlled and perfect. As who the hell was that? Viego. Gonna play around the wind wall. Oh, if that landed, he has ultimate. Fiddle hovering here. You probably got Galio too. Fiddle. Lands. Ultimate lands into the ER. The fiddle did nothing, but thanks, man. Appreciate it. We'll sit on the tower with our tiny base damage. Diego, Marvin. yeah, here he comes. We're gonna get the tower first, and now we're gonna try and weave in the autos and pick him up. Q doesn't land. Got to use this wave. You really don't want that wave to die. You want to keep on utilizing, to try and get your Qs. Gonna move in. Okay. You just ignore him, yeah. Viego's straight out of there. Look at him in the bot side. Nice job, Fiddle. Coming across. We have ultimate. 
Looking for the camps. Try to think if they can look for the mid lane here. You don't- if you give this bounty to Jinx, you can kiss your LP goodnight though, I think. His leveling is just ridiculous. He's level 13. Yeah, they're gonna try and set up the Harold. I wonder if staying bot lane would have been the best call. He just wants to start opening up the map a little bit. God, he's wasting his farming time. He could be 200 by now. They should give they should give the Harold to the Yasuo. Yep. He'll speed recall into bot. As is mortal too. That heal reduction onto the Viego will be super important. Whenever that champion gets going and starts getting those resets, it's impossible to stop him. This new this Divine Sundra into Blade of the Rune King is just gross. I hate this build. Do you see how he does other things on the map? There's really nice like um, macro. He goes and does other things on the map, and then he just lets the the wave and the bot sides like stack up, and before it crashes, he gets there to pick it up. He's gonna have a hundred CS lead before twenty minutes, I guarantee. Two hundred farm at seventeen. <laughs> so fast in these waves, man. Here comes their whole team. Galio ult. We get exhausted. Shield bow procs come kind to of flash out. Look at land that Q. Go over. I think Viego will pick. Yeah, he eventually drops over. Sets the one who gets it. Oh, Lee Sin. It's going to be a team fight win. Nice job, guys. Great bait. Alright, heading topside in the mid game. This is where the fights get exciting. You just enter like a super, like a super saiyan mode, I swear on this champion. Not many, like the only good knockup really is that Lee. I guess you have Thresh too. Cause you don't see if the Yasuo overextends. If Viego hovers though, it's not doable. Yeah, he's just gonna wait. He still has Harold too. Yeah, the Viego, just perma waiting for him. And this is gonna have to be our... Thresh is here? I'm gonna say one, uh, 1v2, but it's a 2v2. Next item usually is like a Lord Doms. Start working on the armor pen. Gets the last wisp up, beautiful. My team doesn't have that much armor, but it kind of counteracts it. Plus, Lord Doms has crit now, so you get that... You're getting that 100% crit. Like 95 or whatever the hell it is now. Just looking for the mid lane fight. Pops the Harold. Lee Sin kick. Yasuo insta ult. Picks up the karma. Doesn't use the cleanse. On the fear. What a fear? We grab the Gallo. It must have been. It must have been Viego stolen fiddle fear. Is that an ace? Jesus Christ, mid game ace, 2.30 farm, I'm gonna run down mid, probably for the inhib here. For the end? Kappa? He's hunting for the waves. I really want to do an Akali review soon. I don't know who's Akali I should review. I see Nemesis has been spamming it. Maybe him. Chovy, maybe. Showmaker's left me and he's a bloody 80 carry player now. My friends. Rest in peace. The mid laners.
No more Bjergsen. Showmaker. I'm back. The day Faker leaves, I'm dead. I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna retire with him. Gonna start the Nash. Two man. This is easy as hell. Enemy team hard commits bot. You should always be ready for this hard, like this um Baron Rush, guys. No one can match him. So what he'll probably just do is hard shove these waves and then you look to cut across. You just rinse and repeat. If you can't cut across for a flank, then you just take the jungle camps. Does he get this base? On... Oh, the Yasuo, the passive shielding saves him. Now he's got the Lord Doms. He has the stopwatch too, working towards the GA. 250 farm to 130. Like that, that gold lead is just ridiculous in the mid. Yellow, you got one item to three and a half. I don't know why they're trying for A Rams. They need to be splitting down on this bot lane tower and then looking for a dive with Fiddle. Oh, the wall though. Fiddle ult. Here comes Set. Set ultimates. Yasuo hits the cleanse. Oh, the stopwatch saves him. But for how long? Not long enough. He drops. Whole team is going to get absolutely rinsed. Jinx. Oh no. Gets the cleanse. There's one more left, right? The lease in. Ah, oh, shit. And they... Holy... Nice champion, buddy. Um, yeah, this is not optimal, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the poor, I don't know, man. Like, I reckon you could have lived if you flashed out. He was hoping for some type of follow-up. Okay, I'm almost positive. If they kill the Jinx, they win the game. Save the, you gotta save the, the, the Lee Sin, like, kick. Or the, 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 the Thrash needs to flash in with the Flay for the Yasuo knock-up. I mean, all Yasuo could just instant flash in. But the Jinx needs to die. He has too much damage. She has too much damage. Set's got a thorn mail. Don't worry, Sim. Going for the next fight. It's got to be on this bot lane tower. Be careful of this brush. Just Q through it. Yep. Look, lands. Looking for the hard commit. Gets feared up. He still has the W, though. Um, okay. Aphelios pops the ultimate, and... <laughs> oh my god, no. We have to flash out. And we're dead again. This game... That sets bloody W. This, he was too tanky and then chunked them for a billion health, man. Oh, shit. Alright, coming out of base. We need GA, man. We need GA in a setup. These 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 fights have been so bad. He's been too impatient. I'm still good though. Hmm. This team is just asking to lose. The enemy team's playing very well. As a cohesive unit. You got the Galio, I guess. The Gal like they got such a nice front line with the Jinx Karma. A hard comp to get through. We get the GA. And we get a cloth armor. Don't know what the hell this last item is gonna be. Dragon spawning. It's gonna come down to Dragon Baron fight. We've got no flash, we have cleanse. Don't talk, yeah, you gotta go through the mid lane here. Let's 
Sacking the dragon. Probably a good move. Give the Ophelos the red, and now we try and set up for the Baron. Winner of this next fight wins game, for sure. Here we go. Hawk lands onto the set. Fiddle going in. All eyes is going to be onto the Jinx. Yasuo, moving in now. Instantly cleanses. Viego gets his reset. Let's weave as much as he can. Pops the Viego. Jinx is still alive, remember, but we're going to run it down mid. The only Jinx Galio alive. Leeson has flash, no kick. The wind wall is going to be perfect to try and negate this. Oh, Lee moving in. We got to get the Jinx. Use the wind wall. We get the Galio and we're just going to ignore the Jinx. Oh my god. Lee moves in. Beautiful finish off. And that's going to be a game ender. Solid game. I mean, I look, it would've, I would have been liked it if there was a little bit less throws. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. This guy is an absolute pleasure to watch zoom around the map. And until next time, boys, I'll catch you later. Peace.